changes to to stay realistic within the lore, and it's it's really stupid, especially in an MMO. Yeah, I got me a unicorn. <laughs> Shit's okay. Um. But yeah, I think uh, Payday 2 does a very poor job at, at uh, balancing the game and, and providing progress. I think they do a very poor job. So uh, that that's, I mean, it's a great game. It's still fun. It's, it's like one of the only co-op games out there that, that that is, I don't know, that it allows that kind of replayability and challenge. But you gotta have progress. I love Borderlands. Borderlands 1, 2, and I recently played the pre-sequel. That fucking awesome games. Borderlands is a fun co-op game as well. But, see, that's a different style of game. Like, Payday 2 gives you more of a cha uh, challenging fucking I'm gonna kill my friends type of experience. And Borderlands 2 is more just fun. You're, you're gonna progress no matter what you do and no matter how bad you are type of thing, you know? But it's a fun game. I mean, it's, it's definitely too easy, but Borderlands 2 is, um... I mean, Borderlands 2... Payday 2 needs some work with their, uh, you know, you could spend 10 hours and li literally not gain any progress, not gain a single thing in 10 hours of play. Like, oh, you asshole, that guy! Call my orc! Yeah, that's, that's a problem. Um, do you still need spider fangs? No, I don't need that shit. Terrar. Pre sequel's not bad. It's it's still fun. I mean it certainly isn't uh I don't think it's as good as Borderlands 2. Like I, I think I think the main problem with the, the pre sequel is actually the land, the terrain and everything. Like the the zones. Moon. The whole thing spent like on a moon and it's not as open worldish. You don't I mean it's not a world to begin with, but you don't feel freedom in a way, you know? It, that's... I don't know, it feels a little, uh... A little toned down a bit. Hey, what's up, woman? I'm playing. I see another device! Thing, yeah. Hey, woman, watch your mouth! Get my first mine! Demos are out there to try before you buy. Dem demos are what? <laughs> Who said anything about that? But yeah, when I make that MMO feedback site, which I'll have soon, I'm going to, um... I'm going to be doing a lot of videos of me just on the camera yelling at the screen. <laughs> I'm dead ass. Like, this, this is our problem with this nowadays, and this is our problem with, with everything else. Fallout 4? Uh, meh. I'll play it. I don't really like Fallout too much. It's okay. It's alright. But, uh... Did I need to fall against the 4 3? Yeah, I did. I played... 1 I finished, 2 I played a little of, and I finished 3. But, uh, it's, it's alright. Not a huge fan of Fallout. I especially don't like the. I'm getting sick of the whole post apocalyptic world type of thing. Everybody does it. Rather than the every zombie game ever. That, that's not my problem. My problem is not buying games. Dude, go look at my Steam account. I know that. You want to tell me. No, I'm not talking about you. It's, Steam, it's not about money, it's not about anything. I'm going to tell you right to your face what is wrong with your game. Whether if the dev gets all pissed off and bans you from their forums or whatever the fuck, then fuck the dev. He's a piece of shit. He can't take feedback. Don't make anything. I'm not even gonna say games. Don't make a product that is for a consumer other than yourself. So guess what? Don't make anything ever if you can't take feedback. Anything. And I mean a guild. You, if, if you start a guild and you can't take feedback, stop. Disband your guild and shut the fuck up. If you. 
anything. Stop interacting with people in general. Exactly. You fucking don't if like you feedback. can't take feedback on anything, you got a major problem in this world, first of all. Because you need feedback from everything. Work, whatever the hell you do, feedback is great. And, and, I'll say, I said this before, I'll say it again and again. There is not a single dev in the world that knows their game better than the players do. If you make a game, I know your game better than you do. I do. And that, that goes for everyone. If I make it an MMO, players will know the MMO better than I will. Because you don't play the game like a hardcore player would. You don't play the game like a player is going to. You don't see the game as a player would. And it's the truth for, like, everyone. If I made a game, I would probably take forever and ever to make an MMO. You know why? I'd play it, get a thousand... I'd make whatever, phase one, get a thousand people in the game, and play it for six months, hardcore as fuck. Don't patch it, don't do anything. And then step back and go, what the fuck? What What, what did we do here? What, what's wrong? And when you play it as an actual player does, you know, eight hours a day, ten hours a day, maybe even just four or five hours a day, not even, whatever. When you play it as a... I found an NPC. What? What is his name? Oh, his name is Bye, Mandible Cod Cod He's got the yo-yo glove, the form of C. He's got some stuff. Blue counterweight. You know, I bet part of it is like devs are like it's like fucking uh, parents with their kids, right? So not fucking them, but like you know, parents with their kids. Fucking like her. random people will fucking see all the issues that your kid has that like, you'll like overlook because it's your kid. Crack right? like, Because failure, you feel yeah. attached to it, right? Because you're too attached to it, and you'll like you'll look overlook things because it's like, oh, it's my baby. I don't want to. Games can't appeal to shit, everyone. Right? That is absolutely the truth, and I agree with that statement. It's Games like I made this. I spent everyone. fucking thousands of hours making this. Like, there's no way it's something's wrong with it, right? It's like you must be so fucking stupid or something. Like, they'll say that. Yeah, like, and that's that's definitely a big part of it, I think. Fucking. What the fuck am I saying here? Yeah, games can't appeal for everyone. That's right. And everyone is appealing to these casual baby fucks that play baby MMOs and shit. That's cool. Um, well, that's where the money is. But those are the first people to jump ship. Right. So when the new game comes out. I would rather not appeal to those players and do something like, wow, you know, here's really difficult PvE content. And this is classic WoW, by the way. Now it's fucking ass. Here's really, really difficult PvE content. You have to bust your ass. You gotta be the best of the best to get it done. The game was so good that all these hardcore players stuck with it for so long. They just stayed and they kept playing and playing. The revenue built up. And as you play, as you have your hardcore players, you know, they're the first people in the game. They're the first people to go with furthest. And, you know, they're the first people to get in the game and start building up the popularity of the game. That'll attract the casual players. And the casual players will go, Andrew. you know, yeah. The casual players will go and, and affect the change of the game. Because now all the population of these casual players grew. And then... The dev forgets who fucking built that population in the first place. The hardcore fucking players. So you go and change the fucking game style because, oh, we have all these casual baby fucking kids in our game now. Let's change it. For them. You go and change that, and who's the first to leave after that happens? All the hardcore players are the first to dip the fuck out, and then they go, fuck you, and they leave. That's exactly what happened to me with... with Oops. With fucking Blizzard's fucking stupid uh, World of Warcraft, I, I left, told them to go fuck themselves. That's it. And then you swear off their games, and you don't have that kind of following anymore. You don't have those hardcore players that sit up your next game and fucking and, and build this popularity and shit. And then the casual players jump from game to game and game and game and game, and your popularity of your game starts to die because you lost that hardcore fucking background. And, and I think that is the most important. I don't think popularity numbers are. are Population numbers are, are extremely important when you first create your game. I think you really should be going for a hardcore, kind of like cult following. EVE Online? EVE has not changed. It's still got, is it massive, 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 massive? No. It is not World of Warcraft type of fucking player base. But it's still fucking huge. They got a large amount of players. They, um, they got a, like a cult following. Because they didn't change their game. In fact, they did once, and, and people flipped the fuck out on them, and they all started quitting this shit, and they, then they, you know, they took a step back, removed that patch, went back to the drawing board, started their, their, their... 
Council of Stellar Management. Is that what they call it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the Council of Stellar Management, which is player run, player, player fucking managed, and that is really oh, cool. That, that is really amazing. Good. That is I an amazing like thing to do. It allows your player to have a voice, and you listen to it, and you support the opportunity for players to give feedback. Not just, oh, here's forums, type your feedback so you think we're paying attention to you, and they will post once a day in it. No. It started a fucking a group, and go, and they went, yo, we, get, we want the best of the best community members, people who know our games, to get up in this fucking group, and, um, and give us their, you know, feedback a couple times a year. We'll fly them out to the, to the fucking headquarters, we'll discuss, you know, Whatever, we'll discuss how the game's going and where the future of the game lies to avoid any issue, you know, like the issue they had last time where they just patched the game without feedback and they were like, met with nothing but absolute fucking disgust and hate. So, that's great. That That is that is beautiful. And, you know, I don't know, it's pretty dead for casual like, bullshit and sellouts, but... Like, the devs forget that... People who are actually playing their game are busy playing their game, so they only listen to the people who are complaining the most on the forums who are <laughs> not playing. The game. Best example That's is a good point. is how about um, World of Warcraft with their fucking let's lock out the forums to everyone that's not subbing to the game, so you can't even go tell them, hey, listen, uh, this is what's wrong with your game. This is why I don't play it anymore. You won't hear that. You won't hear this is why I don't play WoW anymore. You know why? Because the people who don't play WoW anymore can't tell you they don't play WoW anymore. They can't even give you a fucking reason because you blocked them out. You fucking put a blackout on them because yeah. only subs can post on it. And then they're like, oh, so it you know what that does? Popular. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't seem popular that that classic WoW servers are gonna fucking come back. It doesn't seem like a popular fucking thing to do because none of the fucking players that want it back are able to fucking post and tell you they want it back. Are you fucking kidding me? That's, that is absolutely, what is that called, like, fixing the votes and shit? That is Basically. absolutely what that, that's like going to fucking, I don't know, um, going to WoW forums, okay. We go back to the WoW forums and we tell them, oh, what is your favorite MMO of all time? And you put up a poll. Oh, 2015, number one highest favorite MMO of all time is WoW. What a surprise, where'd you post the poll? Oh, you posted with the WoW players? Are? Oh, okay. That's pretty much what it's like doing. You you censor everyone you don't want to hear shit from. You can't even go tell them your issues. And and I would love to go to fucking BlizzCon. Just go up to their fucking face on the fucking mic. Like, listen, you little fucking idiots. I don't want to hear your fucking lies that you don't have the classic server files. You don't have classic WoW files. You're a liar! 30 second fucking Google search. I'll do it. I'll put up my fucking phone right in your fucking face. You're going to tell me you can't... You can't pull up the, 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 the fucking files? You're a fucking bullshit liar. In fact, companies get sued over that shit. When you sell the rights to a game, they, and it's in the contract that, you know, you're selling the rights for the entirety of the game, and, and you still own World of Warcraft as a copyright, guess what? They're gonna want World of Warcraft data files. They're not gonna want World of Warcraft fucking Panda Express. That Panda people Express. get sued over that shit. You, you don't know. You don't, you don't just lose the files. You're a fucking liar. You're a liar. That does not happen. That doesn't happen. Especially to a, a company like that. You're telling me you're not gonna back up every single one of your resources? Fucking kids on, on, on their iPhone get a terabyte storage on cloud. You're, you're a fucking multi-billion dollar company and you don't have enough storage space to store all your patches? You're a liar! You're a fucking liar. That's, that's, that's a taste of what I want to do. I want to start making videos, just me on webcam, yelling at the fucking screen. That's what I want to do. Talking about just gaming start world problems. Just at the screen for like 10 minutes straight before saying anything. Just complete silence and start yelling. That, that's really what I want to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking start making videos for that shit. And... Just go talking about the fucking problems of the gaming world, not just fucking MMOs. It's like it's fucking everything. I, I want to tell you how pre-ordering games is a bad idea sometimes. 
early or, access. Or yeah, yeah, the early access thing, the the fucking founders packs, why it hurts the market, and what we should do, and and do I think I'm gonna be like the messiah and start a fucking cult group that's gonna change their ways they view gaming? No. I wish we, we would be able to start something like that, but people are stupid. People, the people that support games don't care so much about the the state of the gaming world. They don't they don't take a look at the big picture. Like you have those console kids, and and, and this is not even the, to to bash on consoles, but they go home. From work, they play their fucking their NBA and they get off and fine, whatever. Are they doing a massive hurt to the gaming community? No, but these are the people that they go and pre-order Destiny and the millions of players and shit like that. And it's it's that type of shit that actually hurts games in the long run. Like pre-ordering is bad. It, it really is. It it, it hurts our, our shit. It, it it does. And people might not realize why, but, like, there is so many games that, like, release in, in, like, a broken state. I'm not even talking, like, okay, the game's bad. Like, that happens, too. And you gotta ask yourself, okay, if they released their game, if they had their game, and they didn't even do pre-orders at all, they released their game, they released Witcher 3 without pre-orders. Mm, I shouldn't even say Witcher 3, because Witcher 3 is a great, a great game all around. It, it, it's got some problems here and there, but it's, it, it was fantastic. Let's say they release a game... Dying Light. What did you mean okay. to say? Dying Light. This is a great example. They have Dying Light, and they don't have pre-orders available for the game at all. You can only buy it the day it comes out. Do you think that game would have a higher quality to it than if they had pre-orders? The answer is yes. Absolutely, fucking lootly the game will have a it'll be a better game it'll be a higher quality state it'll be it won't run at 40 fps on a crazy system like i have two 980s i had at the time two 980s running at like 40 fps are you fucking retarded that's unacceptable so the answer is absolutely yes the game would absolutely release in a higher quality state if there were no pre-orders why why? Because they already hit their fucking mark. They hit their mark, they know they're gonna make a profit on the game. Period. So now, what do they do? They pull a shit ton of people off the actual game, and either put them towards the game's DLC, like the future expansion DLC fucking thing, or they put them on, on, on their next project. Which, their next project is then going to be funded via pre-orders before it even releases, and the cycle will continue. So they're going to pull these people off, and it's slowly, slowly, very slowly going to get patched. And it's going to get patched because they have their next game that they got to sell with pre-orders. So it's like people like me don't go, oh, this game is broken that I pre-ordered. You never fixed it. Fuck you, I'm not pre-ordering the next game. What was that? What was that, 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 that medieval game we wanted to play that they, they were doing? Dying Lights creators? Deadlight? No, not Deadlight. Uh, that medieval -ish. I don't even remember. Remember Hell Hellraid? No. Hellraid? No, that's a different game. So they patch it so when their next game comes out, they have a little bit of a a, a following saying, Hey well look man, they they patched the game. Well that's great. That that's awesome. They patch the game, they have to. I'm telling you right now, there would be no need for a patch three months after the release that fixes your game if there was no pre orders. If there was no pre-orders, that game would release perfect. It would release fine, there'd be no problems with it, it'd be a better quality game, there might be more content, because now people are going to, you know, first thing they do before they buy it, well, not everyone, but a majority of people are going to go and see, what does the review say on Steam? Wow, mostly negative. Guess what? I'm not buying your fucking game. If those re reviews are mostly negative after the release, and it's been pre-ordered, guess what? Fuck you! You already got- they already got your money, they don't give a fuck. So, you're already screwed. That's why I like what Steam did with their refund thing. The two hour thing? That's- that's a- a step in the right direction. It's not- Two days. It's not- no, not two days, two hours. I thought it was two days. No. Oh, up to two hours of playtime. Two hours of playtime, yeah, play So, it's a step in the right direction, it's absolutely not there yet. Because it takes more than two hours sometimes to find major issues, but... 
it is definitely a step in the right direction. So, when you pre-order your game, you can come in here and be like, Whoa, what the fuck did you do? And fix it. But that, of course, leaves other problems like, Okay, the devs gotta release... And don't think people don't think about this, okay? We want a good 30-minute cinematic in the beginning of the game. Why like, people will do this. I'm telling you, you'll start seeing it now. We want a long cinematic in the beginning of the game. Why? We want it to eat up that two-hour playtime. I promise you. It seems like, wow, who would do that? I'm telling you, it will be done. If a game's getting most of its sales from Steam, they will do stuff like that to try to help eat up your two-hour fucking refund time. There are scum, scum devs like that. And people are so quick to fucking fall in love with devs and believe everything they say, especially with MMOs. It is, it is a fucking major, major problem. And people don't... Here's Jungle Seeds. And people don't learn their Thank lesson. You. People are so fucking stupid in this world that, that like, like I don't know, you could sell battery fl uh, uh, solar-powered flashlights. Uh, like, I people are so fucking era. stupid. People buy the stupidest shit. And they don't learn their lesson. That next tryout game they announced, if oh anybody my in my guild goes and plays it, I'm kicking them from the guild permanently. They're done. I'm not playing with them anymore. I don't want them in my guild. If they go play that game, they're done. If you have not learned your fucking lesson about supporting these fucking scumbags from Arcage, you are a fucking idiot. You have major problems in your life. Your brain is needs to get like shock therapy. You're a fucking idiot. You, you're absolutely retarded. And, and there is no way in hell I would ever, ever, ever support those people again. It's disgusting what they did. Sentry, you have max health 400? Uh, yeah. Anybody need heart crystals? No. I'm gonna put them in a chest somewhere. Uh, I'm surprised I'm we still have heart crystals in our fucking world. Don't sell it yet. We're not ready yet. No, like, I'm just saying I found another Flamethera like spawner. Wait, there's multiple? Yeah, there definitely is. Pretty sure there are, I just found another one. Alright, we're only using this one. Shit. I fucking oh, yeah, there's this whole area the out. Monkey, come over here. Creating a new set. Oh, you just made one? Monkey was going okay. like Well, we have an extra mining. set. Um, what are you making, Nick? I could use some. You're not getting shit until you join the right group. Hooray! <laughs> now I can see who the hell's in front of me. Alright. But yeah, I, I, my, my brain is full of, of massive rants. I can go on for hours. <laughs> I really can. Don't test him, he'll do it too! <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not a console player. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing a lot of stupid videos. I'm not a console player, but I've seen Destiny. I knew a, a lot about Destiny. I've looked into it because I like to see... I, I, MMOs fascinate me. Like, I like to see even consoles. Like, okay, what are you getting for consoles? Destiny is not an MMO, okay? Destiny is absolutely not an MMO. Console players think it is, because it's they don't know better. They they think it's an MMO. Um, oh, I take this. Uh, thanks. I already made three fucking says. Um, they think it's an MMO, and this is not to saying they're stupid or anything, but to them. That is a an MMO because it's 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 got a massive amount of people in it and stuff. It, foamy the squirrel is that that foamy and and Jermaine thing or something that that girl that that it's all animated. I think I've seen that before. I remember uh, it's the stigmata in the eye. I remember some some joke from that shit. But uh, it's a stigmatism. Um, I remember that shit. But yeah, console players think it's an MMO. Um, it's not. Okay, uh, that's like going to Vindictus for PC players and saying it's an MMO. Vindictus is not an MMO. And I really wish there was, uh, like an organization out there that, that had to approve how you classified your... Your genre? Your game. Yeah, your game genre. Um, there actually is organizations out there that classify stuff like that, like cars. You can't classify it as an SUV if it doesn't weigh a certain amount or a certain length. Like, like there's, you can't.
can't say it's an SUV when it's a fucking a Honda Civic. You know, you can't sell it as an SUV. It's not a fucking SUV. So you can't advertise it as one. I I would love to start one, but you need like backing. You need to say, hey, um, this is Better Business Bureau approved. Better Business Bureau is not a requirement in the U.S., but it looks really good when you got the Better Business Bureau A plus rating on your business. That is fucking great. It looks great. Um, I wish I could start a thing and be like, yo, like, like, I don't know, like, like, the, the organization for, for higher quality gaming or some stupid shit, you know? I wish. I wish I could do something like that. That'd be great. Um, and it's, it's, it's really stupid that, that, that they're allowed to get away with that type of shit. Marketing it as, as an MMO when it's not. Um, another thing I am looking at that might not be... An MMO is uh, the division. The division, it's what they say and what they advertise it as, and what they keep telling us in, in, in any post about it or any interview is it's going to be an MMO. The open world and everything, is it really? I don't know. It might just be, oh, matchmaking, there's just 50 players in their server and pull a DayZ type of thing. That is not an MMO. DayZ is not an MMO, okay? Just so we can clear up confusion. Destiny is not an MMO. It's, um, a lie. And it's it's a lie. It would never work for PC players. It would never work Damn to, to market that for PC players. It would not. Um, people have learned their lesson, and, and they're very experienced in MMOs on, on PC. So they know what to expect. And when you're walking around in Destiny, if they don't see other players roaming around, they're going to be like, what the fuck? My brother is a console faggot. He, um, he used to play WoW with me back in the day, and he's done hardcore raiding, does all that shit. But he's like one of the most immature kids in this, I say kid, and he's like 24. Like, he is literally the most immature person you'll probably <laughs> ever meet in your life. I'm not kidding. I'm not trying to say this to be funny or anything. I, I, I'm, not. I'm serious. He's probably the most immature person, and the console players are just like him. At least the players he, he he's spent like time with. Boy. And... He was like, oh, Destiny's gonna be great. And I was like, okay. I think it's good. I remember you telling him. I mean, I think it's good for console players. But you've played WoW. You know what MMO is supposed to be like. I'm telling you, this is not gonna be what you think it is. And I remember hearing him scream. He was pretty much doing one of my rants. Screaming at his friend about how Destiny's not fucking an MMO and it was a lie. And, and he was like one of the only people on the console complaining. With his with his clan complaining, because he knows better. He knows what what he wants in an MMO, and sorry, I was catching up on chat a little. Oh fuck, was that me? Uh oh. Oh my god, it might have been me. What? Yeah, but Get out of here! Here. Out of here. <laughs> fuck. Um. God damn it, Nick! You gotta pay attention. I was blind. It wasn't there. It didn't even show up. There's more hard it things. Was, than I left. can see it on your screen, motherfucker. Oh, maybe I was looking at chat. You um, were, you blind bastard. So yeah, for console kids, for console, for console babies. That's that's what I'm gonna call you guys. Sorry. Destiny was a good game in their eyes. Do I think it's a good game? No, I think I think the game is shit. But. In their eyes, they think it's a good MMO. It is not an MMO when 95% of your content is instant. Is instanced. What's the other 5%? Anyone want to guess what the 5% of content that's not instanced? Instance PvP. If instance P if you have to say instance PvP, <laughs> guess what? It's instanced. No. What lets you join other players? Lobby. Yes. A <laughs> lobby. You are right. You're absolutely correct. And their lobby is semi-instanced. You get to join your game with five Channels. players. They got their raid. Five players. It's like two bosses and no trash. That's their quote-unquote raid. That's and, and they can get away with calling it a raid because console players don't know better. My brother's there flipping out. What the fuck? This is not like WoW's raids. When you use the word raid, you think you're getting like a WoW type of like raid. 10, 50 men shit, Yes. Man. Like, 
at least, at least 10 men, minimum. And you're getting bosses, 10 bosses, you got trash mobs, you're gonna be there for 8 hours. That's what you expect when you know MMOs. When you don't, you're like, oh, so cool, man, we're all together killing boss. <laughs> cool. It's... Yeah, killing boss. Notice I didn't, I didn't say boss is. We're all together killing boss. It's... Whatever, if you like that, great. But don't advertise your game as a fucking MMO when it is not. You don't deserve that. You don't deserve to call your game an MMO. You have not earned that right, Destiny. Looking at you. So... Yeah. It's, it's, it's a major problem with how games are classified. There's so many problems in this stupid gaming world that I can go on forever on things we can fix. And, and things in the player's hands. I mean, we can't fix that, not how they classify their game. We could say, yo, I'm not playing your fucking game because you're a liar. That's great. Um, and you can go voice your opinion and let them know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think Destiny is a, is a piece of shit. I think it's my baby's first fake MMO. That's what I think it is. And... I don't know. People like it, great. More power to you. I think it's a piece of shit. That's just my opinion. And it, it's, if it's my opinion, it's correct. It's the only opinion that matters. Now you all know. Your opinion is shit! Your opinion is shit! Your opinion is shit! Oh, I wish I had that gif to upload. Just some anime girl pointing at everyone. In those words. Your opinion is shit! Your opinion is shit! <laughs> That's like the Oprah of telling people they're stupid. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I can go on and on and on about our problems, and I plan to, I do, but not on this stream all day, every day. I'm going to be making fucking videos of me just yelling at the camera. That's all it's gonna be. It's not gonna be, like, uploading facts. It's not gonna be graphs. It's not gonna be anything to support my, 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 my words or my claims. <laughs> I'm just gonna be yelling at the camera. Fucking comment and if, if you have a problem with that, Cut. don't watch it. Hit the little down, the down vote button, and keep going. But I know, I know, I know you'll be back for the next video to hit the downvote button thing again, whatever you call it on YouTube. It doesn't matter, man. Views I don't like, matter. I I don't like this video, and I'll just be screaming on. I've never made a penny off YouTube. In fact, I don't even know how. If even if I wanted to make money, I don't even know how. You like monetize your videos and don't see any money from it. It doesn't happen. I I, I don't know. I've never even tried. I I don't know. It's like my account's set up for it, but I don't put them on because ads are annoying. No, I'd rather not annoy people. I'd rather just release fucking videos and people watch them. Great. If not, awesome. Fucking, I'm not. I'm not doing anything I do to make money. I don't play games to make money. I don't stream to make money. I don't make a guild to make money. In fact, I make a guild to lose a lot of money because that's what I do. But I would love, love, love later, Stevens. I would love to see a. Uh, Somebody that appreciates experience and knowledge from the gaming world type of shit. I'd love to see a, a company that goes, yo, we want people like you on this team here. Can you play our game for the next two months and give us some honest feedback? What do you think? What should we do? How do we improve this? Do you, do you know how much respect I have for that? Where people go, yo, especially if people go, my game is shit. Right now, tear my game asshole. is flawed. I don't know what to do. What is our next steps we should take? That is amazing. If you come and say that, that is great. I have, I've never heard it. I, I've, I've never, ever, 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 ever heard someone go, Hey, we know this is fucked up right now. What do we do? We need more opinions. And the closest I, I could say someone got to that would be Eve. Where they went, Hey, um... What is that? Oh, demon I don't huh? want that. Wait, the closest I can say is Eve, where they want, yo, we know we fucked up. Here's a council, here's this, a council of interstellar marines. They're gonna come here and tell us what we did wrong. That's Wonder pretty much saying it. Like, hey, we know we fucked up. Well, here's a council that we created, so we don't do this again. Great. That is you awesome. Any life fruit at all? I gave him the Harley. 
because like she's sitting in base health. doing nothing. So doing well, she's... nothing. <laughs> no, I don't mean doing nothing. I mean doing stuff so she can't farm hearts. You're useless. You're useless. Okay, you're not even in game. I'm not even playing. So okay, I wanted to go I'm... give her the hearts because she can't farm them. Game. And then Daryl's gonna need them too. Kill, uh, the planter guy, I got a spot for it. We're not ready yet. We want to get this new armor and stuff. You game fucking suck. Yeah, no, I've done that to devs. Okay, in fact, I've cursed off the the CEO of Tryon right to his fucking face in Skype. I've done I've I've done that to him. Not the CEO. I've done it to, <laughs> to Scapes. I've done it. I've done it to a lot of people. To tell them you guys are fucking idiots. And I didn't tell them. See, I, I, I didn't. This is way after I gave them the recipe for success. I literally, literally gave them the recipe for success. In fact, I've already uploaded this, so I can actually share this whenever I. Talk about it. Let me log into my imager account one second. I already gave them the recipe for success. So they can't say that I just came in there screaming my fucking head off at them. That is not what I did. I went and started an idea. And I was like, yo, they're flying me out to California, their headquarters. They must really want my opinion. Cool. So then I was like, all right. If I'm going to go over there, let me go ahead and do my best to, to provide them the the best possible feedback. Does that work for you, that image or link? Talking about our uh, booklet? Does that, does that image or link work for anyone? Yeah. Yeah, it works. Works? Okay. I said, hey guys, I'm going to California in a couple months to go to Tryon's fucking headquarters. Let's do something so we can give them the feedback. That, that, that you know, they fly me out there, they must want my feedback. They want, must want our, our opinion How to make their game us. better. Sweet. Let's go over there. That's cool. Let's go over there and, and, and impress them with this and give them everything we really think that this game needs to, you know, see changes in, and, and let's, you know, let's go down there and show them that we mean business, and we're not gonna, we're not just there for a fucking free trip. We're there to show them that, hey, we played your game, these are our opinions, these are opinions of, of like a thousand players, okay? And, and we went through them, the bad and the good, we discussed them with each other, and, and it took so much time to organize this book, get everyone's opinions, delete them, add everyone's name to it, to give them credit, fucking... Go and make the. There's a physical book. That's not just printed out. I got an Oriental book with the Oriental logo on it. Printed it out. We had the pages in there. What the fuck? Did I just yeah, wake up print hair again? Yes, you did. Print hair on I don't know if oh, I did that. that. Was monkey. My monkey. Um. So yeah, I busted my ass making this thing. Keep thinking. Okay. Cut and pages. Yeah. Uh. Ride Rock Online, I did play it a little bit. I wasn't super, super, super into it, but yeah, I did play it a little bit. Um, I wouldn't say I was a hardcore Ride Rock player. I, I was not. I wasn't super, super into that shit. Uh, it was another game eating up my time at the... Was it Ultima? I don't remember if that, that coincides with the timeline. I, I don't know, my brain... Like, I, I, my brain doesn't work until WoW. Like, that... I don't remember anything beyond, like, past that, with, with the timeline of it. Anyway. So I went down there... Gave them this book saying, hey guys, this this is these are your problems in this game right now that you really should address, you really should think about changing. And these are the opinions opinions of a thousand players. They probably went through it right in the garbage the second I left. They didn't, they didn't take a single thing, they didn't make a single change at all to anything. Not a thank you, not a we, re re we reviewed your book, we looked at it, nothing. And I was like, okay, so what the fuck was this trip about? Turns out it was really just a uh, a publicity type of thing. They were kind of, I really think they were trying to kind of do the Eve thing. Like, look guys, look what we're doing. And they called it Community Day. That's the first thing I, that caught my eye when I showed up. I was like, Community Day, what is this ass? Sounds like like uh, bring your bring your daughter to to, to work type of thing, and uh, <laughs> there's gonna be there's gonna be cake and ice cream and and, and fucking face painting, you know. Um, that's what kind of sounded like to me. I was like, what the fuck? I'm, I, I mean business. I'm coming here. I mean fucking business. I'm not I'm not here to fucking play around and, and look how nice trying headquarters. No. I'm 
I want to discuss your game. And they spend a lot of time like, oh, try our new Rift game. Try our new expansion. I don't give a fuck, okay? I'm here to talk about about Arcage. I'm here to talk about the problems with Arcage. And they were just like, oh, fucking look at our new stuff and go home and tell people how cool these games... I don't give a fuck. Your other games suck. The only game that, that, that Tryon owned that was good was Arcade. You know why? Because they didn't make it. It wasn't their game. Tryon fucking sucks. I think every single fucking game they ever made was terrible. Terrible. So... They're not making the new one either. Oh yeah, they're not making that new one either. Um... So... They didn't take a single fucking uh, opinion to heart. After that, when I quit, the day I was quitting, I went and fucking cursed them all the fuck off right to their fucking face on Sky told them exactly what the fuck they fucked up with, how they're scumbags. And they're not just, oh, we made a bad game, so I'll, I'm gonna curse you off and hope you die. That's not what it was. It was, oh my god, you guys are scumbags. You lied about everything. You're greedy as fuck. Diablo 3's not an MMO. Um, you lied about fucking about everything you were doing. Oh, no best in slot cash shop. Oh, we're not gonna put the, the Thunderstrucks in the, in the fucking, the cash shop. Um, oh, the best in slot won't be in the cash shop. Here's these boxes that have the best in slot glider. Really? Oh, we're, we're normalizing every little fucking thing in the game so we can go back on our word and, and be like, oh, it's not best in slot. Everything's normalized. Well, you even failed at that because guess what? Everything normalized, still, you still had the best in slot shit in the fucking, in your cash shop, because it was the, the goblin glider. So you're a fucking liar. That's best in slot. And that takes out all the work for the cracking glider, for the dragon glider, all that's gone. And you know what? Not only is that a scumbag move, that's not, that's not fair to the players. That's a, that's a scumbag move. And in addition, that's not fucking fun. It's not fun to, where's my wallet? Open it and fucking, you're done, that's it, got all the best gear. See you tomorrow, guys, I'm done with this game. That is not fun. You don't feel accomplishment. You know what it felt like getting the fir uh, the NAEU first cracking kill? You know how good that felt? That was great. You know, I that's what I live for. That's what I play MMOs for. I play to be the best of the fucking best. I don't play it for, for entertainment. I don't. I don't play MMOs to have fun. I play MMOs to be the best. That is my fun. Being the best makes the game fun for me. Even if I'm not the best, and I'm striving to be the best, the challenge makes it fun. It might be stressing me out, I might be losing sleep, I might be pulling my, my hair out, oh, I shaved my head, I can't even grab any hair follicles, <laughs> whatever. At the end of the day, I feel accomplished, I feel fun. Like, I feel that it was fun, it was entertaining, that I spent my time going crazy, working to be the best of the best, going crazy to try to make my gillies have a good time, you know, and strive for excellence. That That's what I do. It might not even be fun all the time. In fact, I think, fun, I think 60 to 70 percent of my time in an MMO, I'm miserable. I it's a miserable. self, it's a self torture type of thing. With the amount of guild management I have to do and micromanaging and that the officers do and shit, it's miserable. It really is. But it's still so much fun for me. It's it's like I like torturing myself a little bit. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm a what is it, masochist. masochist <laughs> yeah. Maybe I like it. Maybe I like getting whipped. I don't know. Um. And, and that type of shit is fucking... Do I think I'm the minor minority? Absolutely. I'm definitely minor minority when it comes to that. But I am not the minority when it comes to how I want my MMO to be. I'm definitely not the minority when it comes to that. Because I'm sick of, um... Sick and tired of, of having the best shit via credit card. Yeah, hold up, let me call my bank, see if I can get a, a, a fucking a higher limit on my credit card. So I could fucking be the best in, in, in Terra. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I hate it. <laughs> it's fucking. Yeah, that's true. I do like it both ways a little bit. Like, like fucking not bisexual both ways, but like whip me, and then the next day I, I'm the boss and I whip you type thing. That, <laughs> that works for me. It does. Fucking. <laughs> um. Yeah, D3 is not an MMO. Um. You can't have a game. Okay, you can have instant an instance game and still call it an MMO, but it's not. Okay, they call it Diablo 3 an MMO. The most players you can ever interact with at once is four. Four. Destiny has more than that. And I'm not even talking. I, I, I notice I use the word interact. 
I'm not even using the word play with. That's, that's not the term I'm using. I'm not saying the most people you can play with is four. The most people you can interact with is four. In Diablo 2, the most people you can play with is eight. The most people you can interact with is about a thousand. Because you have a lobby where you can talk, you can set up trades, set up games, and you feel that you're actually part of a community. Diablo 3, four players. That's it. The people that are in the game, that's, that's it. Those are your people. You're, you're not going to see anyone else. You're not going to talk to anyone else. That's it. And I'm not talking old oh, battle.net friends list. That does not count, okay? You put a fucking you put AOL instant messenger in your game, that does not count as interaction, okay? <laughs> um Oh god, Stevens, the fuck. God. That's a whole nother oh level god. of fucked up. Stevens, like that's that. that's a whole nother level of scumbag. I oh god. I gotta I have, I have videos we talk about that a lot of stuff. You think my credit score is good enough for that? I'm gonna be talking about that in a video. I promise you that one. Um, but yeah, D3 four players. D2 you had at least a lobby. It was eight players together. At least a lobby where you'd have, you know, a bunch of people going, hey, um, we uh, we want to do this. We want to trade that, and you can do stuff. Great. Diablo 3, the most interaction you get is 4, and then you go look at the auction house, and you see people's names next to their item. If even. I don't even know if you, you see that. I don't even remember. You probably couldn't. They you fucked up that game it. so much. The biggest flaw was the money auction house. Second biggest flaw was the community interaction amount of players type thing. The third was the itemization. There is no, you know, every best in slot item was a green, a green, and that is the lowest quality you can get next to white. Green was the best in slot everywhere. Nobody wants to be decked out in greens and go, this is the best gear, because the greens have the highest chance, not the highest chance, the greens have the oh, yeah, highest no, we'll range. Highest oh range that stats can roll. Like like a legendary will have a set thing like 10% crit. Well, the green for that same piece can roll 20% crit because it's 1 to 20% on random rolls. So you sit there getting random drops, 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 and hoping that you um end up getting the green that's best in slot. That's not cool. Okay, I don't want to be rolling around in, in fucking Schmegum's green's green boot of wisdom. I, I don't I don't want that. Okay, I want, yo, Doriel's fucking chest plate of fucking corruption. That's what I want to roll in. I want to be wearing legendaries. I want to be, you, when you see that legendary drop, you're like, fuck yeah, and then your heart jumps for a second. You pick it up, identify it, and you're like, yeah, Star Jordan. That's, that's what people want. You don't want, oh, green boots of, oh, cool, this is better than my legendary. Do you know how depressing that was? Do you know <laughs> yeah, remember that. Your how bad that was? was better than anything. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? My cat is staring at me. <laughs> um, like, what is he talking about? That that is not cool, and nobody wants that. Okay. And you go in the auction house and see these legendaries that, and and like you could see all the items in the game just by doing searches on the auction house. So it's like a built-in item browser. You look at it and you're like, wow, these legendaries are worse than my green. I have nowhere to go. I can't upgrade with a legendary drop. When you see a legendary drop, you actually get a little depressed off a of boss. All you want to see is greens. So those people yeah, lowering their magic find. Those people lowering gold. their magic find to stop legendary drops. So they can get more greens. <laughs> How about that? So, fucking... I don't know. I, I just couldn't fathom their choices on that. Now, that's... I haven't played it. I haven't tested it. But I heard they... I haven't heard it's better. I heard it's changed. Legendaries are now best in slot Leg for everyone. Yep. Full legendaries. Mm-hmm. Great. My Crusader's full legendary now. Wonderful. Now I can say too little too late. When you fuck. <clears throat> Here's the next thing, okay? When you fuck up your game, you delete it. You roll it back, you wipe the game, you tell people, hey, the last two years you spent in this game, gone. Deleting it, go fuck yourself. That's what you do when you fuck up your game. Okay? Final Fantasy 14 did. Final Fantasy 14, thank you! That game's got its own problems with hackers and shit. But, mad props, mad respect for what they did. Saying, hey, 
We fucked up. Fuck you and your character. Fuck everything you did. We're deleting all your shit. We're restarting. Perfect. Star Wars Galaxy was an incredible MMO. They fucked it up so bad. Star Wars Galaxies. This is not Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic KOTOR. Okay? Star Wars Galaxies that 90% of you probably did not play was incredible. It was a great sandbox MMO that they fucked up so bad it was irreversible. You could not fix it. You know what the fix was that they had to do? If they went, hey, we're deleting everything, we're rolling everything back, we, we're going to come back to this patch, here's your old patch for now, we're going to come back and we're going to fix it. That MMO would still be around today if they did that wipe. I absolutely believe that. That that MMO would still be around today if they wiped the servers. There are so many MMOs scared to do that, and, and it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't take a wipe. Eve Online, they were like, "Hey, we're gonna roll back." Great, roll back, and and, and that just just to go back to WoW real quick. The fact that WoW can do rollbacks and shit. Do you know what kind of storage space that that for all those servers? Do you know what kind of storage space you need to do that? A rollback like that with all that character data and everything. You need an insane amount of fucking space. You're gonna tell me they can't back up a fucking patch? They're lying. Um, so to do these rollbacks, it is so incredibly important to be able to do that. When you fuck some shit up like that, you gotta be able to roll back. That's why I tell people, hey, at work, before you do an update of iOS, from 8.3 to 8.4, do a backup, okay? Cause sometimes your shit, the update gets fucked up. Daryl, do you have this set? I'm clarified now. Come up here. Oh wait, wait a minute. I gotta go up there and make it. Um, do a backup. Why? So you can roll back when shit gets fucked up. Okay. Do a fucking backup. There, there's, there's no reason why, why everybody should back up shit. Especially if you're going from like seven to eight. Do a backup. Okay. Um, every MMO should always have a fucking backup and the option to, to, to roll back. And you know what? Don't be scared to fucking use it. There might be people that quit the game over it, but I'm telling you, it's better than fucking people quitting the game, you know, in mass. There might be some people who go, hey, I'm not playing anymore because you roll back my character after I spent a week doing doing work. I lost that week, so fuck you. You're welcome. So, fuck that. Fuck that person. That person's not going to be around long, uh, long anyway. If you're going to quit an MMO over a week of, of content, a week of work, of progress, you're not going to be around in that MMO for long anyway. You were on the verge of quitting anyway. Trust me. If that was enough to push you off. Uh, duck head on the left. If... So if you quit, great. Those players are going to go anyway. Players that are going to stay are going to be people like me that are going to appreciate a rollback and are going to understand why, and they're going to see why, and, and I'm not saying just do it. Position it well. Have proper positioning where you go, hey, this is why we have to do this. We want a better gaming experience from all you guys. We, we messed up. That's important. Admit fault, admit, yo, we, we fucked up a little bit here. This is what we're going to do to fix it. We're going to come back with you, and, and maybe for the next week, you're going to get double PvP currency, double experience. Fine. Do that so people can gain back that progress. Wonderful. Whatever the fuck you got to do to try to help people out a little bit. Whatever. Um, what? Thanks, what? Sounds threw me a heart. Oh, I gave you the other ones before too. I don't know. Yeah. Um, um, Not those things. So I don't have it yet, zero. Um, All right. I don't have enough. Who doesn't have the set yet? I don't. But Monkey was just saying something about there's a better set for range they use. Yeah, eventually. With. Isn't okay, it the so same how do we get there? It's not uh, the same material. I believe the the vendor dude here gives you. Like the ability to make it or something, I think? I don't remember. It's chloride and glowing shrooms. Anyway, yeah, rollbacks. They're so fucking important being able to do that and, and not being scared to do it. And drop your pride, okay? Did, when you fucking MMO up, just say so. Say, hey, we fuck shit up, but we we learned our lesson. This is what we're going to do from now on. And we're going to make sure this doesn't happen again. And we're not going to be scared to use rollbacks, but we'll let you guys know, and we'll make sure to compensate you a little bit with it. Maybe here's a here's a uh, storage box you can open for some random stuff, some potion goodie bag, whatever. Um, 
but people are too scared to do rollbacks nowadays. And so, like I said, Diablo 3, I might actually play that game with the guild if they ever want... I mean, not anymore, it's well past that state. If they ever want, hey, we fixed our game, here's this expansion, the game got a lot better. We would like everyone to come back and try it. You know what we're doing? We're wiping all the servers. Everything's gone. They do that every once in a while. No, it's they the don't. Seasons. They wipe the leaks. That's um, yeah. that's not the same. Um, oh, you want me to achievements and all that? What? You mean wipe like all the achievements and everything? Yeah, wipe gets? everything. Every, nobody should have a single yeah, fucking character. Do that. Yeah, they, they won't do that. They've already fucked the game up to it to a point where it's unrepairable. You need to wipe the entire game to fix it. And you know what? In Diablo 3, it's not as big of a deal because it's not an MMO. Um, in an MMO, though, like Arc Age, when you release the North, Aurora, and 90% of your fucking players are having problems, issues getting into the North, crashing, people are losing castles. Because of Massive bugs and shit, and hackers. all the land's taken from hackers, you know what you do? You roll back! Okay, and I, didn't, I wasn't even affected by this, so it's not me being, oh, I, I lost, being a baby bitch. Okay? We got two castles. I got my land, a lot of my guildies got their land. Great. Everyone was fucking happy. I was happy with how the North launch happened for my guild. With how the actual North Lodge happened in general for all the players, it was fucking terrible. It was unacceptable, and there is no way in If I crashed and lost castles, I was done. Right there. That would be the end of the game for me. We almost had three castles. Yeah. I, I would be done. I would tell you, hey, go fuck yourself. I'm done with the game. I'm not playing anymore. Uh, you fuck shit up, and you're not rolling back for it. That needed a rollback. It was not right. Um, it was not right to do to people, and, uh... I think that was fucking bullshit. With all the problems that happened with the North, I cannot believe that they didn't do a rollback. Do you have a chest That's... for life parts? I have a couple extra. No. And you know what that is? That's greed right there too, I'm telling you. Because it's 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 gonna affect the sales if they do a rollback. They'll have to give back the points that are already spent. That's what that is. People don't don't t take a look at the big picture. That's what that shit is. Points that were already spent would have to be refunded, so people could uh, spend them again doing whatever and try to re-roll their boxes, try to get better, so they don't buy as many boxes. I'm telling you right now, that's what that is. It, and you might think, oh, you're just hating on Tryon. Telling you, these group of people are so fucking greedy. There's tricks behind it. every little thing. Normalization of the of the costumes, normalization of the mounts, normalization of the black pearl. Trust me. There's greed behind it. everything. Every little change they made was to increase sales. Everything. Shit on gameplay, increase sales. That's that's their goal, that's their number one rule, no matter what. Always sales before gameplay. Always. That's their goal at Tryon, and they can suck my dick. I will never play another one of their games again. And like I said, if I see any one of my guildies ever even post about them playing it, they're gone. I'm not... I don't want them in my guild if they're playing Tryon's games. Tryon or XL, not doing it. Don't want them. Well, you could tell too, because like when they picked up a game like Arcade, it hasn't even been a year yet, and then they announced a new one that they're picking up. That's that's their goal: is picking up as games as quickly as possible, bleeding them dry, and then moving to the next game. Yeah, they don't care about the game. So, I need a fucking drink after that. <laughs> Hold up, and my dog wants to go out. She gets scared by fireworks. I feel like there's a term for that too, where they just fucking like grab a game, just like milk everything they can out of it, and then move to the next one. There should be a term. It's called Kickstarter. No. <laughs> Yeah, I got a lot to say. I might highlight this video. Got a lot to say when it comes to stupid MMO fucks like this. The amount of greed is insane. And and so, like I said, some people might think that that. Oh come on, you're just trying to nitpick every little thing. Trust me. Trust me. And I don't want to say I know better than you, but I have so much experience in the fucking MMO world. Like my life revolves around MMOs. I will probably die at my computer desk playing an MMO. 
okay? My life, what I see it as in the future, move it away, get my own place, I got my job, my job's gonna allow me to play a I mean, not, not, not 100%. I'm going to be able to play I'm MMO while I'm at work a little bit. That's what I pretty much do right now. I can't put 100% into it, though, while I'm at work. I still get distracted. And that's great. That's fine. Pirate Invasion. Hi. Um, I am going to be playing MMO for the rest of my life. I'll probably die at the age of, like, 50. So I probably only have a good, like, 24 years left of my life. I want to die playing a good MMO. And I'll have a girl that loves MMOs, too. And that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. It is not a phase, and I, I, I had a best friend who told me... I